Now, when it comes to squeegee pressure, a lot of uh, printers and operators get a little bit confused between the difference between pressure and travel. So on some presses we have the option of both, on some presses we only have the option of one. The MHM gives us the option of both. What this allows us to do is to restrict the travel of the squeegee. Now the travel of the squeegee is, is displayed here. We change from its resting position here to its printing position here. And it's a move around about an inch and a half. So we go from there at resting when we're flooding and the travel of the squeegee is around about an inch and a half there. With this centrally mounted self-leveling squeegees on the MHM, I can change or alter with this black wheel. The front squeegee, I can move it up or down. That means I can change the limit switch. So if I come up, you can see the squeegee physically moving up. On every turn, it's lifting and it's changing the limit point of the squeegee. So I can allow the squeegee to have more travel in a downward direction. And I can allow the squeegee to have less travel in a downward direction by the use of this black wheel. When we have this extended to maximum, that will probably be enough travel to bend the blade of the squeegee. So what we need to do is we need to find the minimum point of travel where the squeegee moves just enough to allow the passage of ink through the screen. So we would typically wind this transfer wheel back around about six turns. That would be one, two, three, four, five, six. That's a good starting point on a plastisol ink through a relatively high mesh like a 230. And then we would start and make small adjustments to the travel, watching the edge of the blade for too much excessive bend and watching the squeegee whether it will clear or not. Because if the, if the ink clears, then we're doing a good job. If there is ink left behind, then there's a chance we're going to leave too much ink on top of the mesh. And our, our whole point of what we're trying to do is transfer or push all of the ink through the holes in the mesh. On the MHM, we have a, a second additional dial on this side here. Now this dial will allow us to change the strength in which this movement happens. So the movement is still the same. We still allow an inch and a half of movement after our adjustment, but we can change the strength of that movement by reducing the air pressure behind the valve. So this allows us to get ultimate finesse and fine tuning on our water-based, on our multicolor wet prints. So we don't want to step on any wet plastic or ink with excessive force of like five elephants. Here we have coming straight from the compressor around about 80 PSI. The 80 PSI is maximum. But this plastisol will still get pushed through this 280 mesh at around about 25 psi. So that's our operating window, somewhere between 25 and 80. Now as we go to the water-based inks, the water-based inks will still transfer through this mesh around about 10 to 15 psi. And that gives us ultimate control on not depositing too much heavy ink on the inside of the shirt. The more we can sit the ink on the top of the shirt, then the more we get a good, bright, soft, clean print, which is the goal that everybody's chasing.